Let's talk about that, baby. Sick of giving them my money, but I shouldn't have opened that card. I got that new card, guess it's all on me. Let's talk about debt. Let's talk about debt. Period. Let's talk about it. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie and you've discovered Brie Budget. So today's video is gonna be my debt payoff plan so my debt snowball pretty much i'm going to be showing you guys exactly how i plan to tackle my debt um all five well this one's really going to cover for the most part the three credit cards um and then the car note and the loans is going to be kind of like later um because i'm just trying to you know work towards the end of the year and looking at all of my finances and all that stuff it's looking like credit cards is going to be what's going to be paid off by the end of the year and i'm okay with that um so yeah also i was asked um the question how did i get a month ahead of my bills and everything pretty much so like for my cash stuffings like i said that all of my stuffings for my bills pretty much was going to be for the month next like the next month so for april essentially um and that was a really good question so pretty much what i did um i didn't do anything like you know super crazy or anything but I, when I got my tax refund, it was around $3,100 in total. I used that amount pretty much or whatever my bills was. It was around maybe $1,800, uh, almost $2,000 or so directly towards my bills for the whole month of March. So I got my refund in February. So I used that amount pretty much to take care of all my bills for the month of March, like I had said. Um, so pretty much... All my bills for March, even the ones that were auto pay for like the end of the month, they were just pretty much sitting in my bank account ready to be um, drafted out for the most part. And so in my videos, when I'm stuffing my envelopes for the bills, the fixed expenses, those are essentially going to be used and collected for April. At the end of this month, essentially for um, tomorrow's video cash stuffing, all of my bills should be completely done. Hopefully, you know, if my amounts were correct, I'm going to take that money back to the bank and pretty much just pay my bills right out and get them out the way and then leave whatever's left over uh, for the bills that are like drafted for like April 20th or April 25th things like that um the things that I obviously can't change the due date for but that's pretty much how I got like a month ahead essentially I didn't do anything too crazy um I just simply used my tax refund basically so yeah i hope that answered the question pretty much but yeah that was an amazing question to ask honestly i kind of had to think about it i was like wait what did i do but <laughs> duh that's what i did <laughs> um so yeah so we'll go ahead and get right into it so today's video obviously i'm going to be showing you my plan to tackle my debt using the snowball method okay so here we are so I already pretty much have um, the main and like the most important things filled out. So up here we have all of my amounts, just like in my last video. If you haven't watched it, I will go ahead and card it at the top. So definitely go ahead and watch that video first. That way you can kind of see my whole entire debt breakdown. Otherwise, here we are. So we have Genesis, Citibank, Discover, Santander, and my Great Lakes, which is my student loans. Santander is my card note. So pretty much all of my amounts, whoops, so for Genesis, $858.29. It's a minimum payment of $100. Y'all, this interest rate, like I actually am just now sitting down and realizing how much my interest rates are and no wonder it's taking me so dang long to, pay, um, to have paid all this stuff off. So it's 34.99% interest, which is insane. Y'all, not as much as my car, no, but insane, okay? I plan to have this paid off, obviously, April 2021. That's when the next bill is due and I already have the amount in my bank or in my envelopes. Um, so we're gonna knock that one out. Yay. All right, so Citibank's gonna be number two. Essentially this one has $1,332.37. Minimum payment about 100 as well. And the interest rate is 24.49. I have a plan to have this paid off by August, 2021. So hopefully we stay on track. Um, what I do in this video, just a heads up, I'm not calculating like the interest or anything. So obviously, you know, the numbers are going to be a little bit different, but what I'm breaking down is just the minimum payments and about how long it's going to take me to pay it off. I plan on doing an actual Excel sheet. I watched a video on how to like input the numbers and everything. And I thought it was super cool. So I might do that and film it. That way I can post that. I haven't decided just yet. If you guys would like to see that, let me know. But that would be like a way more accurate timeline of how it'll, um, how long it's going to take me to pay these off. 
but yeah anyways um discover is gonna be one thousand eight hundred thirty seven dollars eighty seven cents this was my very first credit card back in 2017 um so yeah i'm ready to get this one out the way <laughs> yeah and the minimum payment is about fifty dollars it kind of changes i think it started at around 35 then it made its way up to like 46 so i just estimated up to fifty dollars because you know it's it's never bad to put a little bit more um, on your minimum payment of course the interest rate is 15.99 percent i plan to have this one paid off by november 2021 obviously you know it might be paid off a little bit sooner or whatever it just depends on how much i have left over every month for my paychecks and if i have any bonuses or any extra income uh we'll see if i put that towards my debt snowball so november 2021 that's the goal yay all right, Santander, this is my car note. So my car note has $9,837.04 left over. My minimum, well, essentially the payment, it's not really a minimum, it's just the payment that is due every month. It's $300 in my interest rate. This is what I calculated. I'm not 100% sure if this is accurate. It doesn't give me like a percentage. I just kind of calculated the interest versus like the principal. This is what I got. So 39.93%, which is absolutely insane. I knew when I got the car, it was, you know, high interest rate, but this is the only offer. Um, pretty much that I got I plan on refinancing I'm just trying to get my credit score up to a comfortable score so I can either consolidate my loans or just refinance it through my credit union um, I heard that was a really great route to go so I'm doing a little bit more research on that but I just want to get my credit score up to a, a pretty good amount uh, or number so I can feel comfortable you know auto financing or refinancing my car note as of now you know minus the interest rate or whatever i plan on having this done by september 2022 it could be done sooner it might take longer of course it just depends this is just based off of my plans that i just kind of estimated around um so yeah my great lakes this is my student loans it's the thirty one thousand nine hundred seventy five dollars and eighteen cents obviously i said they are paused right now so there's literally no point in paying them at the moment if i had the extra income to do it i totally would because you know no interest and during this period at least that it's pretty much paused but i just i don't really have the extra coins right now so yeah i'm just tossing a little bit of money to the side eventually when we get here i think mine is supposed to start back in november not too sure yet it might get pushed out but essentially i'm not really um focused or worried about this right now it's just gonna be kind of chilling that's why i put <laughs> there's nothing paid off my goal is to have it paid off in five years versus like you know the 10 year normal payment amount or whatever length of time it takes obviously i want to pay it off sooner but it just depends on my income of course if i can figure out to make some more streams of income i totally will i'm gonna get those knocked out sooner so yeah those are all of my amounts this is the grand total forty five thousand eight hundred forty dollars and seventy five cents and my minimum payments essentially equal five hundred fifty dollars so this is how much i've been paying for the past year basically on all of my credit because this has been halted for almost a year now um but essentially genesis citibank discover santander which is my car note it equals 550 so this amount alone is going towards debt you know which sucks but i mean it is what it is you know i'm working on getting that eliminated or whatever but that's what we're working at right we're working on right now so my snowball amount is based off 200 250 dollars this is essentially if you haven't watched my budgeting or cash stuffing videos, I definitely recommend that. So I base my amount, my minimum amount pretty much for my checks off of me working like 34, 35 hours or so. Obviously I might work more hours and so whatever's left over, so say $525 is my minimum paycheck, right? That's what I budget. So whatever's left over after that, my paycheck is, we'll say $600. I'll have $75 left over to put somewhere and usually I put it towards debt snowball. So essentially that 75 times four is gonna be way more than this, but this is just you know a rough estimate of having $200 a month left over to 250. Obviously, if I have more, I would love that and I would put more towards it so the numbers will range, but this is just an estimate, just kind of showing you guys how I'm breaking it down. This is essentially my snowball amount, um, so the extra amount that I'm gonna be putting down for my debt every single month. My goal, pay off my credit cards by the end of 2021, which is looking like it's very possible as of now and pay off my car note by the end of 2022, which we really don't know how that's gonna pan out, but we will see, fingers crossies. <laughs> All right, so pretty much down here, I've kinda already started the first row, um, then we'll fill out the rest of them or try to fill out the rest of them, but for the most part, 2021, obviously, so we got April, May, and June. So I wrote these all out, they're color coordinated as well, so that hopefully will make it easier to see and read. Um, but for April, Genesis is going to be knocked out with the $858.29. 
Um, so pretty much if you don't know how debt snowball works, essentially you're putting or you're paying off your smallest debt first all the way into your biggest debt. There's also the avalanche method, which is essentially your biggest interest rate all the way down to your smallest interest rate. So essentially my credit cards are pretty much ordered by both. It's doing debt snowball and avalanche at the same time because my Genesis is a low balance, but a high payment or interest rate. Um, Citibank is the next lowest um, then the next highest interest rate and then discover is the third lowest and then the lowest interest rate um minus these two of course because i just i don't really like to consider these as far as that goes like i want to pay them off early yes but these are my main ones right here because of the amount being so small so essentially i'm snowballing and avalanching at the same time ain't that something but yes so pretty much you want to try and put more money towards your very your smallest one which is how i'm able to do this the month of march i was able to save a lot of money for my debt i'm um, watch my video for tomorrow which is my cash stuff and you kind of see um with the march madness challenge and everything for my debt snowball um, but essentially genesis is going to be knocked out so basically for the month of may we're going to be using the payment that i would have been doing for genesis if it wasn't paid off plus my city bank um, which is the actual um, 100 dollars minimum payment so essentially city bank is now going to be getting 200 dollars plus the debt snowball amount so we're going to be using the 200 for the sake of the video so yeah i'll just go ahead and start kind of filling these out so essentially i have already filled out genesis genesis is the 858.29 which means citibank for the month of april is pretty much going to be getting the 100 dollars minimum payment plus my genesis because i know i'm essentially going to have some left over from my debt snowball so i'm just going to play it safe and do the 100 what the payment for genesis would have been for april and then, considering I already will have this one paid off, we're going to be adding in my snowball, which is the $200. I hope this makes sense. I'm using just the $200 amount, not the $250. Um, so the smallest amount that I should have available, I'm um, left over pretty much to go towards that snowball. So essentially, Citibank for next month, the bill that I'm gonna be paying is gonna be $100 plus $100 plus $200. So that's $400 automatically going straight to Citibank um, because Genesis is already knocked out. So with that being said, for Discover, since we've already snowball or we're already snowballing Citibank and Genesis is already paid off, Discover essentially is only going to be getting the minimum payment. You obviously want to make your minimum payments no matter what. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill these out for Discover because we already know Discover is going to be getting um, $50 pretty much for the months to come. Same thing with my car note. It's only going to be getting the 300, which is the payment amount. So we'll go ahead and fill these in. Boom. And loans. Since the loans are halted, essentially, you're not getting anything, honey. So there's literally no point. And writing anything so just for the purpose of the video i'm going to write it in here so you can see what i'm uh, putting down for it so yay so we'll go back through and we're going to go ahead um there's no point in well actually i'll go ahead and do it for the sake of the video so genesis since we're going to be done boom 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 i'm just going to go all the way throughout the rest of the year Perfect. And then for my Citibank, let's see. So Citibank, again, is going to be getting the $100 minimum payment. And I'm just going to combine the minimum payment of Genesis plus the debt snowball, which is essentially $300. So plus $300. And that's what my Citibank is going to be getting for the rest of the year, pretty much. So until it's paid off. So the $100, and we'll go down here, whoops. 100, 100, ooh, actually, no. This one's gonna be paid off by August. Oh, I skipped a whole road, no wonder, aha, oops. Okay, cool. So July, and essentially August, hopefully, is gonna be done. 
by then, but we'll see. So I actually didn't even need to put this here, so scratch that. Scratch that, sorry. Um, but yes, uh, same thing. So essentially it should be done by August, so no more City Bank. And no more City Bank. I'm not gonna lie, that's probably gonna bother me, but it's whatever. So we're gonna go ahead and add the $300. Add the $300, same thing, add the $300, which is the debt snowball plus the minimum payment of Genesis. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in just a little bit. Boom. All right, great. Um, so now we're a little bit closer. We can see a little bit better <laughs> as far as this goes, but yes. Okay, so based off of this, um, essentially, you know, Citibank might be done in July, but just in case, I'm just going to go ahead and put it for August. Obviously, there's going to be a little bit left over if it is paid off in July, so that amount is just going to automatically go to Discover. Um, so we'll just go ahead and jump right into Discover. So Discover has been getting the $50, right? So Discover is still going to be getting its $50 no matter what. See, discover $50. And essentially, discover should be done by October, but just in case, again, we're going to stretch to November. Obviously, I'll have something left over if I do pay it off in October, and that's going to automatically go to my car note. Um, so, yeah, after this one, that is it for my credit cards. So we'll go ahead and fill out this one just for the sake of the video. So for Santander, which is my car note again, um, essentially it's always going to get it's $300 no matter what because that's what the amount due is. So $300, $300, $300. Perfect. And that'll be through December. Um, for my Great Lakes, I'll go ahead and fill this portion out right now because we already know it's not getting anything. Perfect. Obviously around here, this is so far what it's halted until. So December is most likely gonna be when uh, my next payment will be either November or December. So we'll see. I'm gonna put a little star or a question mark actually, cause we don't know if we're gonna have to pay those yet around this time. So question mark for now, obviously I can go back in and edit whatever I need to edit and then make changes to it. If I do have to pay these back sooner than later. So yes, all right, so cool. So now we're gonna go back to Citibank. So Citibank, we stopped here, so essentially if I'm done in July, that'll be great. But just in case, this is what my goal is for August. So we're going to go ahead and check it off because August, it should be done by. Pretty much, I'm not using my interest rates or anything. I'm simply just doing the minimum payments plus the debt snowball um, amounts, basically, if that makes sense. And so if you have any questions, if it's kind of confusing, let me know. But my Excel sheet hopefully will give me much more clarity. Um, and hopefully you guys as well, if I get to doing that. <laughs> So this is pretty much where we are at. That's why I wrote everything pretty much why I did. So since this one's essentially going to be done, um, I'm just gonna say it's not for July. So we're gonna add pretty much the debt snowball amount, which includes my Genesis minimum of 100, plus now the Citibank, because that one should be paid off, so that's 100. So now that's $400 extra that I'm going to be throwing or snowballing towards Discover. So pretty much that's why these are going to be able to get paid off so quickly because I'm using the amounts that I would have been paying for my other ones. But since they're gone, I'm putting that money towards these. So that's why the debt snowball, um, I feel like works better for me. But, you know, do your research. Avalanche might be better or how whatever other plans there are pretty much. So we got September. Then we have October. So the last one should be paid off October or November. It just depends, of course, if I can put down more. Um, the interest obviously will change the amounts as well. Um, I'll do updates and everything kind of in between the months, but that's pretty much where we're sitting at. So I'm just gonna assume that it'll be done by November. Check that mug off. And now all that's left essentially is just my car note and my student loans, which I don't really know what's happening with those right now. 
um, or what's going to happen with them. So yay! So pretty much, um, we'll go ahead and jump back to the car note. If I do finish paying off all my credit cards by November, that extra $400 and the Discover minimum by, um, of $50, that's pretty much $450. So that's $450 that I now have that I'm just going to throw towards my car note and get that one knocked out as soon as possible. And with the amount, you know, minus the interest or whatever, I plan on having that done by the around the end of next year, 2022. But we'll see. But if you guys want to see like an Excel sheet ver version um, with like the interest rates and everything, like actual amounts, let me know um, and I will get on that. But honestly, I plan on doing that anyway, just so I can see my numbers. But for the most part, this is kind of how I plan on tackling all of my debt. Who knows if it's actually, you know, gonna work out this way. Um, you know, I might get an extra bonus at work and throw two credit cards out the way who knows what's going to happen um but this is just for 2021 obviously the car note is going to continue going out through 2022 but this is pretty much going to sum up my video i hope you guys kind of have a little bit of an understanding of how i'm going to be tackling my credit cards using the debt snowball method um, but i definitely encourage you guys to do some research on either snowball or avalanche or just paying off your debt in general you know i feel like i'm on a great path to tackling these Hopefully it works out sooner than later. But yes, thanks for watching my video, guys. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm so, so, so appreciative of all you guys' support so far. Uh, so yay, let's get it. All this debt, take it away, take it away. Bye, guys.